Hi there, it's Aerology Artsy Intuitive, and this is going to be a message from Gaia. This is the Gaia deck, and I really feel, definitely feeling more connected with Gaia's energies as we ascend with her, and whatever changes are going on uh, within the collective, within Gaia, it's all connected. So I used the uh, the Gaia deck. I think what it's called and then we have this is from the rebel sacred rebel stack anyways beautiful energy seeing the true you lots of reflection especially we got mercury retrograde and i think pisces has to do with that and the new moon and oh i have a pisces moon so definitely a lot of reflecting and just and a lot of unveiling and seeing things like things are emerging Things are re-emerging. Um, so, and what I noticed is the lily pads over here, and I feel like there's that energy of lily pads in here. So I feel like it's taking that step, okay? Going to the next be best step. Going, it's like being in the now moment and taking one, one look at a time, you know, really... Self-care, self-care right now. Um, and then we have the killer whale. Perseverance and determination bring results. So determ determination and perseverance, uh, you know, not giving up, keep going one day at a time. And this is also about this, the sacral chakra and healing emotional wounds. Uh, what else did it say? Yeah, emotional, uh, yeah, healing emotional wounds, expressing your desires. And this reminds me of the, of cycles. He, he's eating his own tail. It's like coming to a completion of a cycle because we do have completion here. We have completion, veiled, solitude, perspective, harmony, full moon, fog, island, Milky Way music. So what I get with this is what was what was veiled before and foggy there's going to be an energy of completion here at the full moon uh there's a completion because it, there has been solitude there's been this deep reflection also having a new perspective so having a new perspective being in solitude we can unveil what has been hidden or not even hidden but not it's been veiled or hasn't been looked at the deeper aspects of self, like the deeper aspects of our psyche of and, and emerging as a higher self and the higher self is wants to guide us. And it's really taking a deep look at our true self and getting, getting um, clear, getting, see how she's nude in this chair in this green chair, lots of green, so I yeah lots of green with this green man. So heart chakra, heart activations coming from the heart. What is true for you? You know what is what is true for you? Also with this perspective, something is being shifted. Harmony, seeking harmony within oneself through music. Music is a great way to bring in harmony. Uh, listening to meditative mind. That's my favorite to listen to different tones and frequencies, but we have full moon completion here. So whatever has been veiled or foggy or just not being able to see clearly, there's going to be some emergence with this. So that's really great. And a lot of that, it, it comes from being your own, being in your own solitude, you know, really taking a good look within yourself at your life, at your external, uh, because as within, as we heal within, it shows up in our physical and it, it shows up like, wow, um, I've experienced this where things just shift because you shift internally. So it's really taking a look at the depths of ourselves, the shadows, what has been hidden. But you know, it's beautiful as we have summer solstice radiance. We have the sun, the sun just shining the solar codes, the beautiful energy of the sun and what it provides for life and for our awakening. The sun is important. This 
So this radiance emergence is supporting seeing the true you. Now, another beautiful energy over here is we have, look at blessings, clouds and rainbow. Synergy, green man, new moon, promise. Okay, the, the, these divine, divine couple here. Looking out towards the sunset. Invocation ceremony. I feel like, look at shape shifting blessings, maybe blessings that you couldn't have even thought of is, is shape shifting. It's, sh it's sh shifting. I mean, that's what a shift is, is. It's shifting. Okay. So clouds and rainbow. It's like after all the clouds, after the storm comes the rainbow, right? So these beautiful bl blessings. It's like right behind the clouds. It's right here, which is, I feel like this is a lot about divine counterparts with this new moon promise. The blessings may, it's, it's like the blessings may be hidden. Maybe you didn't see that. And now there's something being seen. With the synergy, it's all coming together. The dots are starting to connect. Um, yeah, green man synergy. There's so much life. There's It's lush. It's vibrant. There's no lag. The synergy of this radiance coming in. It's flowing in. So seeing the truth, I think it's just so beautiful. And look at what else we had. Look at this. On top of this, look at this. Challenges. The promise. We have the promise twice. Empowerment. That's amazing, you guys. Like those three cards. So whatever challenge is going on in uh, dynamics with relationships, soulmates, attraction, partnership, um, blocks, fears, negativity, betrayal. Um, these cards are so beautiful. Anything going on with this, there's going to be an you, you get out of it empowered, grounded, strength, stamina. And that goes really well with seeing the true you and emerging. Emerging as a divine empowered being because you took your power back. Right? And so I just love the combination. It's like through challenges, through these uh, relationships, it doesn't have, and that doesn't have to be romantic, any type of relationship. Um, partnership whatever challenges come from that in the end makes you stronger it makes you stronger and yeah so I just I wanted to share this quick message from Gaia and I invite you to just connect with Gaia try to connect with her every day because we're all doing this together and rising rising up and yeah so thank you guys. I hope this message was helpful. So yeah, things are going to be revealed, unveiled, seen for how they are, just being emerged. I feel it's just going to keep coming. Things are going to be, um, the veils are just so thin and dimensions or it's just, yeah. Uh, it's the shape. I just love the, this right here. Blessings, the clouds, what's behind the clouds, you know, is the blessings. And, and there's been lots of prayer and ceremony. And as you can see, she has her candle. She's putting her intention into this. She's putting her focus and to, and she's getting re receiving messages from her higher self and through source, through God, her angels. So yeah, that's about it for now. Thank you. Bye.